Hey guys, Coach Rich here. Today's video, we are going to be discussing the close grip bench press. Close grip bench press is definitely one of the best bang for your buck triceps movements that you can do. It's the one that allows you to really load the triceps the most. You can handle a lot of weight when you're doing it. However, there are a couple of things to take note of that a lot of people do do wrong that can lead to injury over time. So we're gonna take a look at those as well and make sure that your form is correct when you're performing them. So what I mean by things that you can do wrong is alignment. Alignment is gonna be absolutely critical with the close grip bench press. And what I mean by that is you need to have your humerus, this bone here and your lower arm completely in line. So the key mistake that I see a lot of people making is bringing the hands in really, really close on a close grip bench press like this. So that actually places a lot of strain on the wrist, a lot of strain on the elbow and even the shoulder. So what we wanna do is find a grip that's about shoulder width apart that really allow us to get into that elbow flex position. Now, the other important thing to note is your grip. So when I personally perform a close grip bench press, if I wrap my thumb around the bar and take a traditional grip, I find that it places a lot of strain on my wrist. So what I do is use a false grip or a suicide grip, depending on how you want to call it. So I actually don't wrap my thumb around the bar and that actually makes it a lot easier for my wrist. The other key thing that we wanna watch out for here is the bar path. So if we're performing a close grip bench press to exclusively target our triceps, while we are gonna be getting a little bit of stimulus on our chest and our shoulders, we wanna avoid that as much as we possibly can and put all the tension in our triceps. So the bar path that you wanna look for is actually up here rather than allowing the bar to travel down here. If the bar is traveling down really low and you're creating a large moment between your shoulder and where the bar is, it's gonna place more tension on the delt. But if we bring it up here, we're actually creating more torque at the elbow. So this is the bar path we wanna be looking for rather than going lower. So it's really important that when getting that alignment correct, you're finding a position that's comfortable on your wrists and elbows. If you can't find a position where you're not straining your wrist or straining your elbow to perform that movement, then it's probably not for you. One of the best tools that you can use to negate that strain on the wrists and elbows if you have access to one is a Swiss bar. So a barbell that you can grip on the inside in a neutral position, I find that it places a lot less strain on the wrists and elbows. Also, you can perform the same movement with dumbbells um, and we'll do another video about that for you guys to check out. So there you go. That's an introduction into close grip bench press for triceps.